Basco, it sounds like you guys translate language, specifically business language. But if you could, please tell us what is Unbabel? What does it do? And also, what is LangOps? There's a fundamental problem in the world, which is people speak different languages. And so what it means is as companies scale, they face this problem, right? It's like, hey, my I'm moving to a new market. My customers now don't speak my language. So how do I sell? How do I market? How do I support my customers? This is a problem that's never really going to end because we're not all going to start speaking English. And the world is more global all the time. So there's more pressure for companies to go into multiple markets sooner. That's what we do. We help companies deal with language barriers as they scale across markets. Now, why is this different, right? And it ties in with language operations or LangOps, as you said. There's a fundamental new technology that is having huge impact in all of our lives, specifically different aspects of machine learning have always had a lot of applications in language. Actually, machine translation was kind of the original AI area came in, coming out of the Second World War and the whole cryptography area. This idea that, oh, we'll just take the techniques that we invented to crack the, the different codes used by different countries and use that to try and crack languages. And that's kind of how actually the original AI area came up, right? So AI is now finally, after people thought they would solve this in like five, 10 years, turns out like took about six to seven years to get to a point where it's having meaningful impact, but it is. And so at the core of this is this shift that until now, for the most part, if you wanted to translate something, you needed people, right? You go out and you're like, hey, I'm going to hire a bunch of translators and they're going to do this thing, right? And now we're kind of seeing this paradigm shift where AI is having a very meaningful impact. And in fact, a lot of use cases, they are kind of AI centric where you say, well, you know, if I'm going to translate an email, maybe the first thing I'm going to do is try a machine translation engine. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll add some humans on top. This creation of all of this uh, new technology is driving everyone in the localization industry to start having to learn how to think from an AI centric perspective in how to solve language. And that's kind of the idea. What we're seeing is the same shift that happened with DevOps, where you went from sysadmins on-premise servers to cloud computing, and you have the rise of DevOps, you're going to have localization people starting to have to think from an AI centric perspective becoming LangOps. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more great IT thought leadership. And thanks to our partners at Salesforce Platform for making this show possible. Go to salesforce.com newsletter to discover timely insights and useful tips tailored to your role.